I want to talk about something. There was this particular enemy that I had and this person was really, really mean to me, really, really rude. Later, I found out why this person was treating me the way that he was, but this person was really treating me in a very crazy way. Very, very crazy way. So, what would most people do in this situation here? In most cases, the person that is treated wrongly is going to act crazy back to that person. Now, there was a couple of times where, you know, when you are speaking to someone, it's like you are not trying to raise your voice, but you raise your voice. <laughs> I believe I did that maybe two or more times. Like when you are not focusing on the volume of your voice, it raises up when you get irritated. That is how I was. And you see, I am trying to teach something here. Now, really follow what I am trying to say to you. So, you know that I always say that you are always going to reap what you sow. So, whatever you do, whether it is good or bad, it is going to come back to you. So if you do evil, evil is going to come back to you. When you do good, good is going to come back to you. So this person was really acting really crazy toward me and later I found out why. Really shocking, but anyways. So I raised my voice Probably like three or five times, I believe. I'm not sure. But after that, I was like, hey, look. There is no point in getting really irritated. Let me just do good toward this person. And let that person do whatever they think is right. And God is going to short, short everything out so as time passed by don't get me wrong this person was doing kind things toward me but at the same time that wickedness would come out as well and no matter what I really did for this person it seemed like that person would not be satisfied with anything. And it was really, really shocking. I was thinking like, wow, maybe this person hates me. And I am thinking at that time period, I was thinking like, what did I do for someone to hate me this much? Like, I am trying to figure out what is going on. You know, even all through the years, what I was doing for this person I'm thinking like, what did I do, you know? So, as time passed by as well, this person was pretty much treating me in the same way. And for a particular time period, I did not hear from this person. And later on, that is when I was telling you I found out why this person was treating me in that way. But let me say this. This is going to be the key thing here. Let me say this first. Even when someone is treating you wrongly, if you continue to treat that person right, that is one way that you can bring that person to God. 
Yes, you are going to suffer. And I don't like to suffer. But if you think about this, what if you suffer a bit, but with that suffering, you can bring people to God? Yes, suffering is terrible. I understand that. But what if someone told you that through your sufferings, you can bring people to God. So the thing that happened the whole time just about when I was around that person, I was acting in the way that God wants us to act toward everyone. Treating that person kindly even when that person was acting really weird toward me. Yes, that person did kind things for me too, but that person had this hatred or it felt like hatred toward me. And even now, I am starting to see a change in him, at least toward me. I believe this too. I believe when you are acting godly toward a person the way that God wants us to act following his rules and regulations I believe showing that person love even through the hate or the bitterness they have against you when you are acting really kindly towards a person no matter what like in unconditional love type of thing that is one way to bring people closer to God all of us have enemies and as I have been stating in my videos this life on this earth is a test we should not want people to go to hell even if they are our enemies we should not want them to go to hell so if you have to suffer a bit to get a person to turn to God so be it if you have to get irritated with the person for a few months or a year so be it if that person can come to God because of the way that you treat them and they can see the love of God through you or how can I say that? They can see the love of God emanating through you and that is what brings them to God. So be it. I believe the Bible said that for the ones who live righteous, you are going to suffer persecution. So if you can bring more people to God, yes, I know that God draws people to himself, but we are the ones that plant the seeds. We are the ones that go out there. Well, we are supposed to be the ones that go out there to tell people about God planting the seed. And it is God that grows the seed. He is the one that makes the increase. So God can work with what we put out. I pray that makes sense. So even if you have to suffer a bit, so be it. Now, what I went through was terrible with that person. It was really terrible. And would I want to go through it a second time? Not at all. But when it comes down to, hey, if you don't suffer, this person is going to hell. Hey, you have to do what you have to do. I don't want my enemy. I don't want any of my enemies to go to hell, no matter what they do to me. Now, I am not saying that I want really bad things to happen to me because I don't, but I don't want my enemies to go to hell. Why? 
you see, we can, some people can only see people for what they are, but you don't really see what a person had to go through in life. And I am not saying that that is a good excuse for them being the way that they are now. I am not saying that. But if you could see everything that happened to a person in their whole life, I believe that more people would be more compassionate toward people because some people have gone through some really terrible things. But all that many people can see is how a person's personality is right now. Hey, this guy here is really rude. This guy is really mean. This person here is blah, blah, blah. But what happened to them in the past? Like you can't get all the way to F unless you go to A, B, C, D, E, F. So you can't skip all the way to F unless you start with A first, right? So you can't see, well, this person is at F and what I see is bad, but I am not going to look at the A, B, C, D, E, you know? I am only going to look at F. You can't do that. You can't do that. And I am not saying that the way that they are acting is right or that is a good excuse for them being the way that they are because of their hurtful past. I am not saying that. What is wrong is wrong. But what I am trying to say, we should have more compassion toward people. Be more compassionate. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.